You are listening to the Taps and Tees Show, weekly conversations for people passionate about marketing, golf, and craft beer. Marty is the co-founder of Bad Rhino, an award-winning digital marketing agency helping golf and craft beer brands get real results in social media marketing. Here is your host, Marty McDonald. Hey, everybody. This is Marty McDonald. Welcome to another episode of Taps and Tees. Uh, much like a episode a few weeks ago, or depending on how you're listening to this, just a few shows ago, where I said, okay, I got to talk about my book. And this is going to be a, a mini commercial episode on being a rock star. Sure, I'll sign my book. This one, I want to talk a little bit about Bad Rhino, specifically my social media agency that I co-founded along with my partner, Rich. And uh, we've been in business now for eight years, and we apply for these awards. And the awards are interesting. I mean, some of them are just completely contrived. Other ones are industry things that you enter something into and you know you wind up attending one of these events and everybody gets an award <laughs> it's it's kind of funny and amusing in marketing space and don't get me wrong there's there's plenty of legit things i'm not necessarily mocking this it's good to recognize you know people in your industry and have that fellowship as well during those types of events but at the same time some of them are just ridiculous and we got a bunch of different awards over the past few years and it's like, oh, we got another award. Okay. Again. And this is like more self-promotion. You know, what I'm talking about here is you have to put yourself out there in marketing. So no matter what you're doing, whether your business is, you know, you want to look for those. But the types of awards that you want to look for are ones that are actually rooted in some sort of basis, not just you're submitting something and you get this award because you basically are, you know, paying the play. You know, there's plenty of magazines out there where you can get that full blown spread. You know, you have a, an advertisement in there, you have everything else in there. And it's like, wow, you know, look at this company. And you see at the bottom, you're like, this is a great article. And it's like, you get to the end. It's like, this is a paid advertisement, blah, blah, blah. And it just comes off a little bit, you know, weird, but there's a place for it. And you are paying for that. I mean, I think that's big in marketing is you are paying for that. And in social media, as we talked about on, on a couple of different episodes, you always are paying for it in one way, shape, or form. It's time or money. So I'm not knocking those things, but it's also just very important to make sure you understand what they're being based off of. Because I learned pretty early on in running Bad Rhino that a lot of them were just that. You know, it's like, hey, I paid $10,000. Here's your award and here's your spread. And I never wanted to be associated with those. Like I said, there's a time and a place for them. But at the same time, if that's what you're basing your decisions off of, or that's what you're basing your business off of, that you're actually legit in this space, you might have a hard time. I have a couple of different horror stories, and I'm not going to get into them today. I want to keep this short of people and small businesses and crap breweries and, and golf courses as well that paid for something that they thought they were going to get based off these phantom type awards and they didn't get it and they were just kind of felt duped by the whole process and in some cases many of them took years to actually then trust an agency or a partner or even a freelance consultant to take a look at their marketing and they probably lost business because of that they freely admit that they would you know say marty you know we really appreciate you coming out you and rich kind of told us exactly what we needed and what we needed to hear. We didn't necessarily like it, but we appreciate the candor. You know, we appreciate what you're doing because we see the awards on there and we see what they're all about. And here's our story. You know, we went with a quote unquote award winning agency and it was nothing but a, you know, a straw man, you know, there was nothing behind it. So the awards that we've received that we actually just hang our hat on are based from a company called Clutch. And, um, you know, you can search Bad Rhino and Clutch and our page will just show up. Hey, if you're enjoying what you're hearing on the show and want more, head on over to tapsandtees.info and get our free report with game-changing tips and strategies straight to your inbox. Just enter your info and stop being stuck with no marketing plan. And the coolest thing is about it is that they're not just taking our word for it. Yeah, we have to put information out there, but they reach out to our clients and customers and say, Tell us about Bad Rhino. We're not there. We just ask for our clients and some of our partners to say, hey, can you or are you willing to give us a reference? You know, after six months, a year or a year and a half, and sometimes even longer than that, 
we'll ask them if we can do it because we want to have those reviews out there. And it's third party. Clutch calls them. They start to talk to them the whole process and ask questions. And they're awesome to read for feedback for us. We've been very good in getting good reviews because we're honest with them. So then Clutch turns around and they promote us in a way and they give us awards based on that information and where we fit in with everybody else in social media or whether it's digital agency or anything like that. So it's based off of our actual clients, not just something that we paid for. And I I love them. I mean, I love working with the company because... They're taking real world examples and real stuff that our clients are saying. And it helps us not only like fix any issues, but also helps us take a look at where we fit in the marketplace. You know, the promotion's great. Don't get me wrong. That's what we're all, you know, driving for is that promotion. But it's based off of real facts. They're interviewing our clients and people that we've worked with currently and in the past and getting that information, which has been amazing for us and a lot of fun to see and we can fix some things that we might hear like, Oh, you know, maybe clutch asked that question a little bit different and we see the review and we're like, Oh, well, make sure we tweak that or we follow up on that. But most of it has been helping us just put things out there that we can rely on. So we can say, here's our track record and it just helps out in those things. And whether you're looking for an agency to work with on the short term or the long term, you want to make sure that, those things are there in place. You know, you always want to do your due diligence in there. And you can't just rely on, we were voted X for this. Well, what was the criteria for that award? What was what went into that for getting that award for an ad campaign or for a project? Those types of things are, are super important to check out. In our case, I don't rely on the awards. But that's part of our marketing. That's part of what we do. And Whatever business you're in, you definitely want to find the group that is putting information about out about your industry or service because it's important, you know, to just be recognized. But you want to make sure it's verified in a way that is not just made up. You know, it's not pay to play, like we said earlier. The pay to play definitely have a a spot in there, but at the same time, you want to make sure that those awards are are rooted in something. So when I say, oh, yeah, we won another award, you know, it's not really to brag about this, you know, company came out of nowhere and just bestowed an award on us. You know, it's based off our work and and that's important. And part of your marketing strategy in beer, you know, people enter all these events, whether they're local, national, regional for best IPA, best, best tap rooms, best branding, all that. And sometimes, you know, it gets nauseating to see because it's just like, okay, they won another award. Okay, they won another award. And it's like you're entering everything. It's like, oh, we want to be this. We want to be best of this, best of that. And that's fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do, but it does wear out your community on social media a little bit if you just constantly brag about awards that you're getting. So make sure that the ones that you do get that you know you can earn are legit and things that you really want to do. So I want to keep this one short. Bad Rhino has won some of these awards and... We like them, but we promote the ones that are rooted in reality and rooted off of real things. So that's just a little shameless self-promotion for today. On our next episode, I'm talking about sales and integrity in sales when you're talking to a marketing agency. So until the next time, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next episode of Taps and Tees. This is the PodcastFactory.com.